As the war in Ukraine continues, a refugee specialist telling lawmakers this week that Alaska's refugee services have dramatically changed over the past years as it sees a spike and a need for their services. I was in disbelief. For Zori Opasevich, it's a war that hits close to home. When the war began in Ukraine in 2022, I felt numb, I felt the pain. As Opasevich, a former Ukrainian refugee, watches her home country being torn apart. I realized that I got to do something. We have waited for this moment for ever since we got started. When we first met Opa Savich back in May of 2022, she was welcoming 12 Ukrainians at the airport who had just escaped the war. And that's how it helped me cope with the pain. Now, nearly two years later, Opa Savich says she's welcomed more than a thousand Ukrainians to Alaska, helping them start a new chapter and reunite with loved ones. The summer of 2022, we were welcoming 50 people a week. The state of Alaska has dramatically changed in the last two years in refugee services, hitting a peak of resettlement that we have never seen before, most definitely. Isa Sparisana, the state refugee coordinator for Catholic Social Services, telling lawmakers earlier this week that of the 917 cases they have, 619 are part of Uniting for Ukraine, a program that allows individuals to stay in the U.S. for as long as two years. A number of them did not have husbands, fathers, brothers that left Ukraine because they are, they are uh, fighting age. Opa Savish says she now welcomes about 20 Ukrainians to Alaska each month. She says the need remains dire. It's not getting better at all. In the middle of the day, I'll get a text or in the middle of the night, um, please pray. I'm in the bathroom for the past two hours, and it's really hot right now. It's stories like these that push her to keep her arms open. There are millions of people who are fleeing out of Ukraine for their safety. I can't help millions, but I can help any, anyone who I can, I will. Helping and welcoming her fellow Ukrainians home to Alaska. Georgiana Fernandez, Alaska's News Source.